What's going on guys? Mariah here from the Aesthetics. Pretty random and unusual start of the vlog. Sitting here in a Hollywood smoked cigar shop. It's what I believe it's called. And um, I usually don't smoke cigars, never do. It's not something I promote. Robin does it from time to time though, and uh, today I decided to join him. It's not a disaster to do it once. Um, it's just not something I promote because I do promote a healthy lifestyle. But yeah, just doing it for the fun and for a cool edit. I think that looked pretty cool. I don't look like a true gangster like he does though. I try, but I look so uncool by doing it, but um, it is what it is, man. This one does actually taste really good. Not trying to sell it to you guys, but um, there's honey in here, right? Oh yeah. It's honey. It's called acid. Hope I'm not gonna be tripping after this. <laughs> <laughs> so again, just randomness for the fun of it. This is our last day here in Los Angeles. So, and this is how we kind of end it. I'm a pretty random guy, so sometimes it's just the random stuff for no reason. And um, I wanted to see what he was up to all that time. And now I kind of get it in some way. I don't know whether this is more harmful than the cigarette. I think less because you don't smoke it over the lungs, but I'm not gonna say anything. I don't have the scientific details, didn't look it up. So we're gonna have a good time here. Enjoy these. And then I'm checking with y'all later. All right, so apparently the shot we got here was in slow-mo because uh, we were, you know, hella excited and it was captured a moment because um, the owner told us a really cool story about the cigar shop because um, when we walked inside the cigar shop, I actually saw a little box that said Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I was wondering, like, what is going on here? Is that like the actual Arnold that has a, a box here? So he told us that Arnold used to be a stakeholder or he still is, I'm not exactly sure, but he has his own office upstairs in the cigar shop where he still comes in on a regular basis and enjoys some cigars. So that's why he has his own little private stash here, including uh, some other celebrities there, such as uh, Shaq O'Neal and uh, some other ones that I personally didn't know, but there were actually a lot of them. So that's a pretty dope story. So if you guys are ever in Venice and you are a cigar lover, then make sure to check this shop out. It's pretty cool. It's called Hollywood Smoke. Yeah, good vibes, good chairs. <laughs> good chairs, man, good the, best, the best chairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope you can see it in the shots here. The chairs are amazing. And so then he told us that next to the cigar shop, there was actually a wall where Arnold was painted on. So that was pretty epic as well. So me and Arnold did a little flex off. They do that? <laughs> that's just it. Then the act. Apparently, I just made that up. <laughs> just hanging with Arnold. Oh, yeah, I was just chilling there with Arnold. You were flexing, though. I, I can see you flex. I, wa I was flexing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think I was saying something in the sense of I'm chilling here with the Terminator. Two guns. He got guns, I got guns. We all got guns. <laughs> Grandfather of Gaines, probably. Grandfather of Gaines, yeah. Alright, so yeah, that was pretty much it. So it made me feel a lot better about smoking the cigars knowing that Arnold smokes them as well. So uh, now I'm pretty sure I can call myself officially a bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hell yeah. Yep, that's complete. <laughs>
flying out in a couple of hours actually, so last dinner with the crew. Robin told me today that he's never been to the Cheesecake Factory. I was there already yesterday with Wyro. He was there for the first time as well, he loved it. So I just have to show him today. We're going back to finish this properly. A work of art right there. Nachos, melted cheese on there, guac, sour cream, everything, and we added some chicken as well. Because hell, getting the proteins in. <laughs> now for dinner, all the three of us order something, and we're going full American. So the nachos was just the appetizer for the three of us. Right now we're moving on to the main dish. I want you guys to understand and realize that I don't always eat out as often as I do here. This is going kinda insane and crazy. Um, but we're traveling here. It's the last few days as well. We're in the USA, so they have a lot of different foods that we don't have back in Europe. So really just enjoying it. Also, especially since my cutting phase just ended. Um, so really enjoying some foods. From upcoming Monday, when I get back home, I'll be back on the grind, tracking my food intake, cooking my food at home, and showing you guys exactly how that is done, um, because that will be most applicable to you guys back at home. So I want you to understand that. And um, recipes will be going back. I'll be doing a lot of cooking, and I'm actually looking forward to cooking meals again, because you know I've been not doing that lately and eating out a lot. So, main dish. We're about to go full American here. This is something that I've never seen in my life. So what we have in front of us is a macaroni cheeseburger. We read this and we were like laughing because it's insane. So I hope it's gonna be good, I have no idea. We decided to finish out this trip with the three of us, the crew, with the full American experience. So this is the mac and cheese, huh? <laughs> oh, we need to put this on there as well, huh? Get this on there. Right? Right. This is gonna be big. Looks big good, looks good. Damn. Here Damn. We go. Bam. <laughs> Last meal in the USA to finish it off. And then we get back onto the real grind. A zero calorie burger. A zero calorie burger, because calories don't count today. And we have some sweet potato fries next to it. So usually I preach a lifestyle called if it fits our macros. Now this doesn't even fit my mouth. Okay. Man, that is good. Mm. I don't know how many grams of fat are in here, but I know it's a lot. And I know it oversees my daily intake. So, um, calories do not count today, for sure. That's the only way we're gonna save our asses out of this. In due time, touchdown, throw off my own two shoes. Still the same city I've been used to. And all the reckless things that we do Keep us young, the good signs, the good signs Take a little more if you need it Voices of the night won't mislead it The tide pulls me in, but it takes slow Here's to the nights we let go And I'm hoping that they figure out It's all about the scenery along the route No fears and no problems These moments are so kind, are so kind Guys, so we just got back, had an amazing dinner there, and now we got back to our house. Airbnb, we've been staying for the past 10 days, and it's literally amazing. We got Karush here, who is the actual owner of the Airbnb. Hi, everybody. Saying goodbye right now. I want to show you guys a quick look inside, because I haven't done that yet. And this has been just an amazing place for us to stay the past 10 days, so we're just very excited about it. So let me give you guys a quick look. So we come in, we got the hallway, here we got a little outside space in the backyard. Pretty damn cool. And then here we got like storage, washing machine, all that stuff. And a garage back there. And then we got the place we actually live, which is upstairs. So on the first floor we got all the bedrooms. So we got one here. And then we got another one next to it. And here we got one bathroom. And then we got the master room right here. You know? Big closet, obviously huge bed. And, and a very nice bathroom, especially the shower, check it out. It's epic, all right. And then now the best part is yet to come, which is upstairs. 
the actual living area. And this is just very nice and spacious. Um, here we got, you know, first balcony. Great freaking view. Check that out. Hell yeah. Love it. And, and then we got, you know, enough space here to chill, to work, to do all that kind of stuff. Um, because we are actually not on a vacation area, even though a lot of people that see my videos may think so. I'm a YouTuber, I create content. Um, so that's the reason why I came out here to LA. It's great epic content and we got that done. We shot a lot of epic videos, a lot of epic photos. I flew over my videographer here, paid for everything in order to shoot the coolest content for you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate that. Uh, but next to that, I run multiple businesses. Uh, multiple people back at home work for me. I work together with a lot of people, so I have to stay in touch with them. So I still work throughout, you know, a good amount of time per day while we are traveling. Um, with that said, this is the kitchen, and then we got another balcony here. But again, like a super nice view that just literally gives me the feels, man. When you wake up, you go over here, sit right here or something, and you just feel the vibes, man. Look at some palm trees, the sun is out there. <laughs> So yeah, in some way you can't really call this work. Doing meetings out here is, is kind of <laughs> so real, man. Just look around. It's a beautiful place. So that's why I highly recommend, you know, getting this Airbnb if you want to stay in a nice place in Venice Beach, because it's literally Venice Beach is like the next street, literally, which is super cool. So the link to this Airbnb will actually be in the description box down below. The owners are super nice, so I highly recommend check it out if you are interested in visiting LA. Ik ga het sowieso inhouden. Ik ga het confuse the viewers, man. Ik ga het compete met alle fake daddies uit. Oké. Nou, guys, so we made it to the airport, LAX. Pretty sad to leave. Same time I'm not, because I know I'll be here. Pretty got them soon again, for sure. But also we have new adventures on the plan, as always. And um, one of the main reasons why I'm actually leaving on this particular date, um, today it is Thursday night. Um, we will arrive back in Amsterdam Friday night because of the time difference and everything. And the flight is also takes a pretty long time, like 14 hours in total with a stop in like Iceland and stuff. And then on Saturday is the return of Headhunters in the Ziggo Dome. So that's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to that like a lot. And for a pretty long time because Willem invited me, um, you know, like a while ago. So that's how I kind of based this trip around it and also made sure that I was back home. I also have a party of my parents' uh, anniversary, 25 years of marriage on the same day as Headhunters is coming back to the Ziggo Dome. So that is going to be a massive day, you know, first the day, then the night, and it's going to be super awesome. So I'm going to take you guys with me to the Ziggo Dome. The Ziggo Dome is a huge party location in Amsterdam, and Willem actually sold it out within, I think, 20 freaking minutes, all right? So the vibes are going to be insane. It's going to be lit, and it's going to be his comeback to Hardstyle. So it's going to be super cool, man. I'm going to see my man in his element. So I'm super excited for that. So it's all good. The end of one adventure and the start of a new one. Back to the Netherlands. <laughs> Did you get that on the, I don't know on the mic? <laughs> so yeah, with that said, see you on the other side. <laughs> so with that said, time to fly. Back home. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? It's Ryan from Stuart <laughs> Go order some food. Order just some plain food. You know, calories don't count today. So we made it back in Dutchland, back in Amsterdam. <laughs> Dutchland? Is that not a thing? <laughs> Just made that up. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Can we get a 
we gonna do this like we used to. Taking it back to the roots, you know? <laughs> Ze gaan killen. Het is onze avond. Sowieso man. Oh. Ja, maar dit is echt de grootste shit die ik ooit gezien heb. <laughs> Time to get it.
Are they? <laughs> Are you having a good time? The night has only just begun. It's your boy Timola G Flo, more fucking gangsta pimping. I know you is feeling me, mate. How's you doing? Good, 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 good. Oi. Oi, Moran, is you having the 1738 again? I is having this. First time in my life, though. Premium cognac, it's really nice, though. And it's the signature move for Fetty Wap. 1738. I'll better try it out. Okay, let's see if I can open it. All those hours in the gym and... It, I don't think that's how it works. You have to... You want to clip you? Ah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sober. <laughs> we got no words for it, so... Cheers. 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 That's, uh, that's, a, that's the right amount. What do you say? Pure or mixed? Uh, I would say mix, but if you if you dare a pure one, I dare you. Uh, nah, if you say it's a nice drink, I better <laughs> better enjoy it. Exactly. Life's not a sprint, right? It's a marathon. I always keep that in mind. Quote by Stan the Man. <laughs> <laughs> it, you gotta taste it like one, like <laughs> make it fancy. <laughs> First impression? <laughs> it's good, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Is it better Is than it better? Bacardi? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're not it's sure? Good, though. It's good though, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> The replacement twins. Yeah, nee, ik doe dat niet. Hey, je bent je kaart. 